community engagement, knowledge mobilization, innovative, creative, collaborative, fast paced. We're a small but mighty team. <laughs> yeah, and uh, connection and love. Yeah. Um, it's definitely been learning from the uh, learning about the community and the city that I live in. Um, there were so many issues that were on the periphery of my life that I would hear about and read about but didn't really care about or even understand. But um, I've become so intimate with those issues now that they've become personal and central in my lives because I've researched them, I have heard, uh, heard from people who have lived experience of them and worked with community members who are working at the grassroots level so there is really no learning that could compare. Also the opportunity to grow and learn as a team because we did so many trainings and workshops together. We did active bystander training, we did facilitation training and also Megaphone Speakers Bureau which is a workshop that connects you to a storyteller who has lived experience of drug use and poverty. Um, in all of these we created the space to be vulnerable with each other, learn from each other, get to know each other and talk about the issues that are difficult to talk about. Um, so, yeah, we do engagement and we do events and community engagement, but we also do a lot of internal work to um, deal with our stereotypes and biases and become better people and I feel like then we spread that positivity forward. Biggest takeaways from my experience at Public Square are definitely communication, connections and the analytical skills that I've gained. Um, through the pandemic, when things changed in March, we've had to ship everything online, we've had to work from home and it required a lot of communication with your team and I've, I think I've excelled at that and I've learned so much about communication. I've also learned how to face challenges, how to work through challenges like this and I've gained a lot of good connections. I've, I've worked with so many people over the, the course of the summer in our Just Not Disengaged series and for analytical skills, I've, I've got to work on amazing projects like social media analytics, uh, the website analytics, uh, competitive analysis for the website. So yeah, I've, I've gained a lot of new skills and I really thank SMU Public Square for that. It's so, so hard to pick one, but one of my highlights was definitely the event we did with Vivek Shreya. I love her so much. Uh, to see somebody of Indian descent draw on Indian culture and use it in such a transformative way is incredibly inspiring for me and uh, I was able to meet her and uh, work with her, stand next to her and now I have signed copies of her books. Uh, it's incredible and because of the PD funds that we have at SFU Public Square I was also able to attend the Stratagem conference this year uh, and see Vivek Shreya again and she read from one of her stories that uh, explores transgender sexuality through a bindi, which is a cultural motif uh, or a cultural symbol in India, and it was it was incredible. The event we did with Blair Armani and Cicely Bell Blaine and Patricia Massey was another fan girl moment for me, um, and also just the resilience of Public Square. This has been such a roller coaster year for us. Uh, we spent months and hours working on our annual community summit, planning it, and. Um, uh, we were so proud of it and so excited to see it, but uh, then the pandemic happened and we had to postpone it and it was just so, so sad for me to not be able to see this thing through. But the way we pivoted and adapted was incredible. We asked ourselves, what does community engagement look like during this time? And it also became so clear that it is a physically distanced world. It was so important to bring people together. It was more important than ever. And the work that we've done since has been some of our most amazing work and something that I am very proud of and so glad that I was able to be a part of, namely our Dis and Not Disengaged event and series. And it was incredible not just because of the topics that we covered, but also because of the people that we were able to work with and members of the community who attended the events and the interactions we had with them. It was amazing. Apply for Public Square Co-ops, they're amazing, the team is so good, you get to learn so much. It's a great experience, you get to learn a lot, you develop so many skills and you gain valuable experiences. You also get to work in an office if you've never worked in an office before. 
Getting a co-op can be hard sometimes, but don't give up, keep playing. Some things that you can do at Public Square uh, that, that we're getting a co-op are definitely volunteer. You can volunteer uh, in general events or as peer ambassadors. You can also get a work study position and uh, yeah, these positions and you know even the volunteer experience you gain are eventually going to help you a lot in getting a co-op further.